Welcome back. This week, watch me turn this five ingredients here into a homemade cheesy gordita crunch here. This is the five ingredient challenge. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So this week, you want to start off with a very hot pan. Mm, yes, you definitely heard that sizzle there. Alright, so we're going to use ground beef. We're going to start off with some 80-20 ground beef. Um, and you always want to start off with that hot pan. I know you heard that sizzle, but you want to start off with that hot pan, right? So you, that way you get a nice start uh, to your cook. Otherwise, you'll be taking forever trying to cook it in a cold pan. And we're going to add our first layer of seasoning with uh, some taco seasoning. We start to brown it off a little bit, but as it browns, you'll notice that there's this pool of fat that comes in. It's not uncommon with 80-20 ground beef. All you gotta do is just drain it out as you cook it, which we'll go ahead and do now. All right, now it's drained out, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and continue cooking our ground beef. And uh, as we cook it, we're gonna continue layering in our spices this week. All right, so I'm, I'm using just a, a typical brand. I'm not using Ortega or Taco Bell. Um, but once the ground beef is well, it's cooking, you want to lay down your taco shells. I'm going to speed this up so that way I could save you 35 seconds of your life. Actually, it's probably taking about 35 seconds, but I'm speeding it up anyways for you. Okay, um, you want to have your pre oven preheated to about 350 degrees for that first. So Then you put it in the oven. Alright, as we're finishing uh, cooking the ground beef, we want to add a little bit more seasoning to it. And then just stir it in, and then we'll... Let it finish cooking and just set it off to the side. As you notice, this week's video is a very short video. Um, and tacos are an extremely easy thing to make. All we're doing is just adding a little extra flair to it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and top it off with some uh, shredded lettuce and tomato this week. And, you know, I had a user comment on a previous video, which you can see in the upper right hand corner here, that uh, the lettuce I used was iceberg lettuce. Of course, it's not the healthiest lettuce. Well, Excuse me, that's I was showing what the cheapest, but this week I had extra romaine lying around, so you get to see shredded lo Excuse me, you get to see shredded romaine lettuce this week. So thumbs up to that. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and use tomatoes. Uh, this week we're using Roma tomatoes, uh, and if you look in the upper right hand corner here, and this, or if you look back at a previous video I had you'll see that I was coring out a tomato. Well, those were the tomatoes that you find on the vine in the store. With Roman tomatoes, their fibrous um, stems don't dig as far down into the Roman tomato, so you're perfectly fine cutting off a thin layer just to get rid of that top stem, and then you go ahead and just dice it from there. Uh, you'll typically see Roman tomatoes as one of the cheapest tomatoes you can buy, and at certain times of the year, you'll notice that grocery stores put it next to uh, avocado and onions, so you can make your guacamole with it. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I think Romas are a great option when you're uh, trying to do uh, a uh, Mexican-inspired cuisine or a Tex-Mex, just because they're a little bit more mild in flavor as opposed to uh, my preferred tomatoes on the vine which are a little bit stronger in flavor so I think they work a little bit better for some palates. Um, I chose to use Roma tomatoes because at the uh, store when I went to go get the ingredients they were all out of tomatoes on the vine. I was very disappointed. But anyways, so Roma tomatoes. They're the cheapest that you can find uh, depending on the time of year you'll find them between uh, 89 cents a pound and like a dollar 19 a pound so don't skip on uh, the Romas if you can't if you don't want to spend more for the bigger tomatoes so next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and create our tortilla um, base for the cheesy gordita all right we're just heating up our tortilla we're gonna heat it up on both sides so that way it's nice and warm so when we put the cheese down it starts to melt uh, once again yeah, we, I operate with preheated pans. I love to operate with preheated pans, I, and I will say this in almost every single video. Use a preheated pan, uh, just because you don't want to sit there and take 20 minutes to do something that you could get done in a matter of just a minute or two or mere seconds. 
Um, but anyway, so you're going to go ahead and put down your cheddar cheese. I recommend mild cheddar cheese because it melts faster than other cheddars. Or you can use a um, the Mexican blend from the store too. Uh, those have cheeses that melt pretty easily too. But this week they wanted five. Uh, in the five ingredients they used, they wanted cheddar. All right, so now we're... All right, once the cheese is melted, you're going to go ahead and put down a taco shell. And uh, you're just going to fold over... Okay, you put it down there for a second to let the cheese really get, grab hold of that shell. You fold it over, press it for a second while it cools off, and then get ready to plate it up. Now, plating up this is not as hard. If you want to know exactly how to plate it up, you can watch this video and I'll walk you through all of it. Or you can go to, um, you know, a certain bell of the taco and look at a picture of theirs and see that they go ahead and do it the way that I'm about to show you. Which is, we're going to go ahead and put our meat down. Then we're going to go ahead and add some more cheddar cheese. Alright, and we're going to get cheese on both of them because what's a taco without cheese? Then we're going to go ahead and put down some spicy ranchero sauce. Then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of lettuce. Now, you saw that the fifth ingredient was the tomato. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and add that tomato on top of the lettuce. There you have it. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.